So, you're here to farm the GitHub achievements. First of all, let me lay all my cards on the table. This is kind of like a cocaine deal. We both know this is a really, really dumb thing to do, but I'm making money off it and you're still watching it, so we're gonna go ahead with it and not question it too much. Just to get into it a tiny bit though, like, this is not gonna get you hired at all, but there are some very, very dumb people on hiring teams, so you never know. They like little shiny things. They'll understand that more than your Rust rewrite of whatever chess engine. So let's go through them one by one. How do you cheese each one of these? So the first one is the Galaxy Brain Achievement. Answer two questions in public forums. Pretty easy, get your alt account or friend, or more realistically, alt account, to create a public repository. Ask two questions, and yeah, just answer them. They said in a public forum, yeah, we had to make it two questions so that people couldn't cheese it. Like, yeah, now it's gonna take me 30 extra seconds, oh no. You can get these up to four times, but I think you don't really have to bother with that because it gets exponentially harder to get the last badge, and HR people can't really count beyond one or two anyway, so it's all kind of the same. Starstruck is when you get 16 stars on one of your repositories. Also pretty easy to do. What you, what you want to do is rice out your configuration, your dot files, put a bunch of anime girls in the background, post it in r slash unix porn, boom, 20 stars, insta. Or just get a bunch of your friends and their alt accounts to star one of your random repositories. That's how I did it. Or you can start a YouTube channel if you really want to get those four X's. Public sponsor. This one is underrated as hell. All you have to do is donate five or ten dollars to anyone randomly on GitHub. And not only are you helping that person out a little bit, you're potentially maybe slightly more hireable now. All this does is give you a little pink hexagonal badge, but it's pretty tough. I sponsored the author of Lua Snip before there was native snippets in Neovim, and I felt pretty good about it. That one is like kind of a pay to win badge, but if you think about all the money you've wasted over the years on small trinkets and gadgets and doodads and other micro purchases online, it doesn't really matter. Five dollars is not much. Pull shark? This one is just pull requests, just spam pull requests. I don't think I have to really explain that any further. Quick draw? This is when you open an issue, realize you said something really dumb, and then close it. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while since I've done this, because I do... I got most of these a long time ago. But that one, I think I think that's all you gotta do. Pair extraordinaire is when you just merge a pull request, but you've got kind of back and forth banter with the maintainer, but she still doesn't give you her number by the time it's merged. That one's also pretty easy to get. Just go to a public repository that you don't like and rage bait them a little bit. The thing is, you need some kind of fix that's actually gonna get merged. I recommend changing very minor formatting or spelling in their readme. Maintainers always love that. And then the last one is YOLO, which is just where you merge without reviewing. I don't know why this is even an achievement because that's basically just every merge for me, but there you go. There's a couple other ones that are very hard to get. The Arctic code contributor and the Mars code contributor, which are just like special one-time mythical event badges, which, yeah, you can't really get anymore without time traveling. I was really pressed about this one for a while, but then I realized that's dumb as hell and nobody cares.